हेलो फ्रेंड्स इन दिस लेसन वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट होम लोन टिप्स द एक फॉर होम लाइफ इन ऑल ऑफ अस द सेफ प्लेस वी कैन गो एज वी आर एंड वी आर नॉट क्वेश्चन फॉर दैट ओनिंग अ ब्यूटिफुल एंड कंफर्टेबल होम इज द फॉर मोस्ट ऑफ ऑल ह्यूमन डिजायर्स ऑप्टिंग फॉर होम लोन्स इज अ स्टेप फॉरवर्ड इन द डिरेक्शन बैंक्स एंड हाउसिंग फाइनेंस कंपनीज ऑफर वेरियस होम लोन्स विथ टेलर मेड ऑप्शन टू सूट डिफरेंट पेमेंट कैपेबिलिटीज A simple understanding of home loans can help loan seekers in applying for suitable options. There are several types of home loans for different needs of prospective loan seekers. First, home purchase loans. As the name suggests, these are basic loans used to purchase new property. second home improvement loans these loans are used to renovate and modify existing properties third home construction loans these are given out to construct a new home fourth home extension loans these loans are used to expand or extend parts of an existing home next balance transfer home loans these are usually new loans with lower interest rates which are used to repay an old loan next land purchase loans these are opted to buy fresh land for construction of new homes next is bridge home loans when people wish to sell their existing home in order to buy a new home bridge home loans can help to finance the new home until a buyer is found for the existing one nri home loans this increasingly popular home loan aids the nris in buying residential properties in india interest rates and floating and fixed interest rates play an important role in determining whether it would be prudent to opt for a home loan interest on home loans are usually calculated on monthly or yearly reducing balance basis and they may either be fixed or floating when the interest rates charge remain constant throughout the tenor of the loan it is known as fixed interest rate it doesn't depend on the prevailing market rates opting for fixed rate protects the loan seeker in case of fluctuating interest rates in the market on the other hand floating interest rates is dependent on the market rate it is directly linked with the bank lending rate and the amount of interest payable with rise and fall in accordance with the prevailing market rates interest rates given by major banks and financial institutions fall in the range of 10 to 13.50% public sector banks like state bank of india and canara bank offers fixed interest rates in the range of 10 to 12.50% and floating rates between 10 to 11.25% housing finance companies like lic housing finance hudco and confin homes limited offer fixed rate between 10 to 12% floating rates between 10 to 12.75% these loans are usually given out for a maximum tenor of 20 years a charge of 0.50 to 1% of the total loan amount is levied as processing charges 
Usually, the banks and financial institutions would require the loan seekers to fund around 10 to 20 percent of the total loan amount as down payment, which has to be deposited before home loan is dispersed. Banks can refuse home loan in the absence of known compliance of the same. Calculating the loan amount Factors like age, repayment capacity, education, stability and job security, assets, savings, liabilities, etc. are taken into account while sanctioning a home loan. If a well-earning couple applies for the loan together, their chances of getting a loan for a big amount are substantially increased. Home loans are usually paid by accurated monthly installment or EMIs. The amount of EMIs determined on the basis of the amount of loan granted, interest rate and tenor of loan. Apart from this, most financial institutions allow foreclosure of loans with nominal or no charges. Tax Benefits in Nutshell The tax benefits that come with taking a home loan can't be emphasized enough. Section 80Z of the Income Tax Act provides for a maximum deduction of Rs 1 lakh in respect of repayment of the principal amount of the loan taken. Apart from this, under Section 24, interest repayments of up to Rs 1.5 lakhs per year are exempted from tax. Processing the Home Loan when a loan seeker approaches banks or HFCS for a loan, their application goes through two important processes. First, working out loan eligibility based on financial standing and documents submitted to prove the same. Second, determining the credit risk and sanctioning a home loan accordingly. Loans will only be granted once the documents are verified and relevant no objection certificates are duly obtained. In case documents are not in order, it will only lead to unnecessary delays or denial. This was the discussion about home loan tips. Thank you.